It's as far away from wine country as you can get. But this industrial building in tropical Hong Kong is home to an exciting new label. Welcome to Eighth Estate, an urban winery started by Canadian entrepreneur Lizanne Tussar. Well, we are the first and only winery in Hong Kong, and actually we, the, we are the first winery in the world that uh, sells wine from frozen grapes on a commercial level. So we're the only one in the, in the global capacity that, that does this, and we really truly have the world as a vineyard. The concept sort of came about just from the love of wine, really, and um, the fact that technology exists now where you can freeze frozen or freeze grapes to actually transport them around the world and then set up a winery in an urban environment. And uh, being in Canada, uh, in Vancouver, we just sort of came up with that idea of, you know, going anywhere in the world with a winery and, of course, where would you go? And Hong Kong certainly came up as a very viable option. The city has become even more viable since the government eliminated duties on wine and beer in 2008, uncorking a surge in wine consumption. Imports of the beverage reached half a billion U.S. dollars in the first eight months of 2010, up a staggering 70 percent. Eighth Estate offers a rare opportunity for local wine lovers who want to learn more about their passion. We select grapes uh, from all over the world, from different regions. So far it's been North America, Italy and Australia. And, uh, and we'll continue to source from different regions as the years go on. And we freeze the grapes and then bring them here and do the production here. So it is truly a product of Hong Kong, but we use the best ingredients from all around the world. In the three years since it opened, Eighth Estate has expanded to keep up with demand. It recently acquired more efficient bottling equipment and stainless steel tanks to process tons of frozen grapes shipped in from overseas. And the operation is now in the experienced hands of a new master winemaker. Born in Hong Kong and raised in Australia, Eddie McDougall now has a world of experience. Making wine in Australia or Italy or anywhere else in Europe that I've been involved with, Hong Kong is obviously no vineyards, so you can't walk outside and go, right, we're going to pick our grapes tomorrow and, and process the next day. So the immediate challenge is, is the grape sourcing. You know, a, a great part about this is also an educational component that you know, people from all walks of life who may have never seen a winery or who have only been to wineries in France come here and get a shock and you know, get the taste of wines and you, know, you take them through a journey which is, which is fantastic because you know, they don't have to travel far. So we can you know, really get amongst it and you know, make it a fun place more importantly. Hong Kong's winemaking expertise is also being developed with some business talent drawn from the founder's hometown, Vancouver. Canadians, we do travel uh, around the world. We're kind of scattered everywhere. Um, but I never expected um, to work for an, a Canadian con uh, entrepreneur here in Hong Kong for my first job um, here. So it was a very nice surprise. Though very much a Hong Kong company, Eighth Estate is open to sampling new markets across the rest of Asia, including the lucrative Chinese mainland. And already the Canadian entrepreneur behind this company is finding new business by tapping into her homeland. Yeah, I do have interest to do a similar type of project in other uh, major cities. That being said, um, we know we do want to focus on this area for now. Uh, we are getting a lot of interest, though, from other companies uh, from Canada to come over and bring their products into this market. So we are doing quite a bit of consulting for different uh, areas to, to come in and, and see what this market is all about. And the winery founder has no hesitation about toasting Hong Kong when offering advice to aspiring entrepreneurs. Jump in. Yeah, make the leap. It's a fascinating uh, society in all sorts of respects, but uh, it's in the wine and beverage industry, especially similar in other industries, um, it definitely makes a leap. I mean, certainly do your research, uh, see you know, if it is viable or not, but the thing is, is to also be flexible. When you come here, you need to have plan A through Z uh, lined up because what's true today might not be true tomorrow. Hong Kong leads a lot of trends. 
anyway. And I think a lot of Asia looks towards Hong Kong to develop trends, whether it be in wine or fashion or, or a variety of different industries, they certainly uh, look towards it. And Hong Kong being um, as international as it is, it's open to different concepts and different wines from different parts of the world. So I think the exploratory phase of wine really begins here. And that's just thanks to the nature of the city itself. Mm -hmm.